Have you ever looked at a price and wondered why? Some seem too low, but others seem too high. Hey everyone, my name is MC School, and today I'm gonna teach you something kinda cool. Economics says that we should think at the margin. To me, that just sounds like some technical jargon. So, let's look at what that word really means, cause margin sounds like something you would use to cook beans. Oh, that's margarine. Marginal, marginal. All it means is next. Yes, it's that simple, that's the gist of the text. Now, you might have heard of this little topic called demand, but you might not know the other name it goes by, hand in hand. Demand's other name is marginal benefit. Say it a few times till your tongue gets used to it. Marginal benefit, it means what you would think. For water, it's the value that you get for one more drink. The thing about MB is that it always goes down. The first slice of pizza is good, but the seventh it makes you frown. And that explains why demand has a downward slope. It's true for water, diamonds, crocs, and custom envelopes. This trend is something you can see without a microscope. Now, I know we've had some fun, but we're only halfway done. Because you can find demand, you can even find it twice, but that's still not enough for us to know the price. If you want to find the price, then demand is not enough. What you also need to know is the supply of all the stuff. Supplies of their name is marginal cost. But cost is not the same as price, so don't get lost. Price is what the customers pay for each unit, but cost is how much the business spends to produce it. So marginal cost is what they spend to make one more. The amount of money it takes to go from three bottles to four. Now, Brock. Marginal cost. You can call it MC, but not to be confused with M-C-S-K-U-L-E. So here's the key to see how our economy sets the price of any good, to which we all agree. Price is where supply and demand intersect. It's true for water, diamonds, and any object. These values are all marginal. That's the word. It might seem simple, but it's far from standard. The first bottle of water is preferred to the diamond. So, You'd value water more if you were lost on an island. But we have a lot of water, so one more is not worth much. And that's why water's price is low as such. But diamonds are scarce, which means low in supply, and that would explain why its price is high. I hope you now can see how to come to this conclusion and that prices of goods are no longer a confusion.